Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will go through how to set up a Profinet connection in Step 7 Somatic Manager and then simulate it. First let's add a Somatic 300 PLC. Then we want to go to the hardware settings. Here we first want to add a rail for the PLC. Then we can add a CPU with Profinet connection. When we add the PLC we get to choose an IP address. Note that the first three parameters of the PLC have to be in the same subnet range as the other stations in the Profinet connection. Then we want to click on New to add a new Profinet subnet. We can give the network a name if we want to. I am going to add an input and output card to my PLC. Next I am going to add an ET200S Profinet I.O. device. We simply drag them to the project and place it on our Profinet network. If we then right click our IO device then click on object properties we will get a menu to do some settings. We can give our device a number. We can have up to 128 devices in a Profinet network. I will keep this one as number 1 and name it device 1. If we then click on Ethernet we can change the device IP address and make sure it's connected to the Profinet network. I am going to add a second device and do the same settings to it. If we open up the PLC's Profinet port we can see that it is set to device number 0. To my I.O. devices I am going to add one input and one output card each.
If we double click on the input or output card then go to addresses we can change the starting address of the cards. I will set device 1 to 100 and device 2 to 101. If we click on F4 button, Somatic Manager will rearrange the Profinet network and make it look more clean. We can also drag around our devices as we like. I will now go to block and open up the main block so we can do some programming. I will just make some simple code with an input from each device that will trigger one output from each devices in the Profinet network. Now that the programming is done I am going to set up a simulation so we can trigger our input bits. I will now download the main program to my simulation and test it out. As you can see I can trigger one input from one device and then all the devices respond with its output. This means the Profinet connection is working. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.